Hey there, it's CJ William. I'm cracking a pack. Today I have a Shadows Over Innistrad booster pack. I was excited to find out that Magic was returning to the Innistrad plane. I began playing Magic right after the release of Dark Ascension. In my opinion, although the return didn't match the gameplay of original Innistrad, I thought the limited environment for Shadows Over Innistrad was a lot of fun. Some of the cards I like to pull from the pack, Mythic Rarewise, Relentless Dead for my zombie deck, Sworn Grim Nemesis because he's a vampire planeswalker, and Archangel Avacyn for my angel deck. For rares, I like to pull an Anguished Unmaking because it's a $10 card. Cryptolith Rite, I need two more for a playset. Tireless Tracker for all those clue shenanigans, and Diagraph Colossus for my zombie deck as well. In cracking open this booster pack, I'm going to rate each card if it would make it into one of my casual modern or pioneer decks, or if it will be going straight to my enormous trade box. Let's get to cracking this pack. And as usual, Shadows Over Innistrad either has a white or a blue common leading off. Vessel of Ephemera, two mana, one and a white. Enchantment, you can pay three mana, two and a white. Sacrifice Vessel of Ephemera. Put two 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield. This will be going into my trade box. Vessel of Paramnesia, two mana, one and a blue. Enchantment, pay a single blue. Sacrifice Vessel of Paramnesia. Target player puts the top three cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Draw a card. I love me some mill, but this is going into the trade box. Angelic Purge, three mana, two and a white, sorcery. As an additional cost to cast Angelic Purge, sacrifice a permanent. Exile target artifact, creature, or enchantment. In draft, this was a great way to exile pesky permanents your opponent had, but it's going into the trade box. Moorland Drifter, two mana, one and a white, spirit, at two two. Has Delirium, Moorland Drifter has flying as long as there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard. White was a color that was hard to get Delirium. Another trade box card. Dead weight, single black mana, enchantment or enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets negative two, negative two. Now this is a common that sees its way into some of my decks. Good early creature removal. Ember Eye Wolf, two mana, one in red. Creature Wolf at one two. Has haste, you can pay two mana, one in red. Ember Eye Wolf gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Great mana sink and limited, but trade box. Equestrian skill, four mana, three and a green, enchantment or enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three. As long as enchanted creature is a human, it has trample. Trade box. Macabre Waltz, two mana, one and a black. Sorcery, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, then discard a card. Great way to get Delirium going, and I have played it occasionally in Pioneer decks, but trade box for now. Pyrehound, four mana, three and red. Elemental Hound at 2-3, it has Trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Pyre Hound. Fun card and limited, but trade box. Reaper of Flight, Moon Silver. Five mana, three and two white. Angel at 3-3, three, three, it has Flying. Delirium, sacrifice another creature. Reaper of Flight, Moon Silver gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. Activate this ability only if there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. Trade box. Pack Guardian, 4 mana, 2 and 2 green, Wolf Spirit at 4 3, it has Flash. Pack Guardian enters the battlefield, you may discard a land card. If you do, put a 2 2 green Wolf creature token onto the battlefield. This was a pretty fun card in Limited, and it easily helps you get Delirium. Still gonna be a trade box card. Stone Quarry, land, it enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap it to add either red or white mana to your mana pool. These usually end up in the trade box. Okay, well, we get a great rare or mythic rare. Port Town. It's a land. As Port Town enters the battlefield, you may reveal a Plains or Island card from your hand. If you don't, Port Town enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap to add one Plains or one Island to your mana pool. You can't overdo your deck with a bunch of dual lands, but if you're running just basics and a play set of these, Port Town does a great job. Our flip card is Pious Evangel, three mana, two and a white. Human Cleric at 2-2. Whenever Pious Evangel or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. You can pay two generic, tap it, sacrifice another permit, transform Pious Evangel. It transforms into Wayward Disciple. Human Cleric at 2-4. Whenever Wayward Disciple or another creature you control dies, 
target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. A card that I could play into one of my sacrifice decks, but currently it's sitting in my trade box. And then one of the double-faced checklist cards and a 2-2 black zombie token creature. Okay, my favorite card, or best card out of the pack. I really like lands, but Pack Guardian was a really fun card to play in Limited. You could flash it in as a surprise defender. Being able to discard a card and feel Delirium also made Pack Guardian a pretty strong card. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Take some time to tell me in the comment section what was your favorite card or the best card out of the pack. Till next time when I'm back to crack another Magic the Gathering booster pack.